Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showing you how to use AMD Relive for most AMD graphics drivers. So in order to use AMD Relive, first you need to update and install the latest patches or whatever by simply, and this is how you access it as well, so that's a two for one. First way of accessing it is going to the bottom right and r right clicking on this little icon. If it's not there, then click on this up arrow and it should be in there. I moved it down, so it might be in there by default. Right click, open Radian settings. Then you'll be greeted with this piece of work. Then you go up to relive and you turn it on. It will be off by default, trust me, I know. And if you want to record desktop, like this, this stuff, and you want to hit that button, that will be enabling it, so then you can record beautiful videos like this one. Um, these are all your hotkeys, memorize them well, cause you will need it, trust me. This is also a hotkey that took me two seconds to remember, just joking, these are really easy to remember, like that. Is easy. Everything's easy. It's awesome. And if your mic isn't working on the first um, first try, probably want to do this because it might be off by default. Mine wasn't, but a lot of people have been having that same problem, like their mic wasn't enabled. So if your mic isn't working, then you might just want to toggle mic hotkey. There is um, another way if your mic isn't working and your mic is enabled. There is another way. Go into your um, sound settings go to recording devices and then use whatever recording microphone that you're using so for me I am using voice meter and make sure you select 2 channel 24 bit 8 48,000 hertz that will then enable the microphone on AMD Relive anything lower like um, I think it was the lowest lowest is like 22 anything lower than 44,100 hertz is it won't work I don't know why but I guess that's just how that works okay so that's all the hotkeys um, so that's your video capture device not what you're capturing this is like your camera and all that stuff audio capture device is um, your mic of course of course and recording microphone um, that's basically off by default so you want to enable it to get the rich and beautiful microphone recordings this is your volume slider for that microphone this does not affect I repeat does not affect game audio I really wish they added a game audio thingy but um, I did think for a while that it actually um, affected game audio but it doesn't push the talk basically <coughs> excuse me fuck <coughs> excuse me push to talk um, once you enable that you'll get like a little tiny extra hotkey um, setting set it to a random hotkey and basically you press that to enable your microphone whenever you're not talking I suggest leaving it off because it's a pain in the ass, so if something amazing happens and you're talking, you're going to forget that you have a hotkey and it's going to be annoying. Um, audio volume boost, I leave it on low. If you put it on high, you'll probably start getting this static or whatever in the background, like uh, like a motor or something. I don't know. It, it sounds weird, but I keep it at low or off. I think that's basically the um, minimum that I, I suggest. Recording. This is your recording profile. You have custom recordings. You know, you got like high, custom, and medium, low, um, and then you got your basic resolutions. On my um, AMD graphics card right now, it can only do 1080. It can't record at 1440p, sadly. Um, max recording bitrate. Some people just leave it at 50. Some people just leave it on the default 30. I put it up to 100 because YOLO, swaggy. Recording FPS, you want to put this on 60, unless if you can't, oh shit, if you, unless if you can't put 
Um, unless if you can't like make 30 FPS on a game, then you probably just want to put it on 30. But I leave it on 60 because most of my games I can run at 60 FPS, and I like to have 60 FPS because it looks nice. Encoding type, I have it at AVC. Some other AMD um, graphics cards, not like mine. Um, some of them actually have the option for H.26. 256 or something which is a one more step up and it's a little bit more crisper and it doesn't look blurry and cloudy or whatever and it's just way more better if you got that option so if you got h.2256 I recommend enabling that and switching over to that then you got the audio bitrate which is just your basic audio bitrate some people leave it at um, 192 which is the default I put it at 320 doesn't make much of a difference but I like to go maxing out things because I like to test things instant replay um, basically I can describe this as Xbox Xbox record that basically when you turn it on you can set it to an amount of time so say 15 seconds of it'll record 15 seconds before that point in time so if you hit like a clip, like you got a dank ass, um, trick ass, n no scope on Call of Duty or, or you know, that goddamn game called CSGO, you know, you can record that 15 seconds ago and you can upload that thing to YouTube or make a compilation or something like that. Then you got streaming, which everyone knows what streaming is. If you don't, then you're a fucking pussy. I mean, not really a pussy, but a dumbass. So, basically describing it as Twitch, YouTube, and custom stream. Fuck that thing. That doesn't work. Oh, it does work. I just don't choose to use it. Mainly, anyone, everyone just uses Twitch and YouTube. Some people use Mixer now, which is the Xbox's streaming app. I can't really remember, I think it was, I, I really don't know, but I use YouTube because Twitch, over here in Australia, it is not good, unless if I'm living directly in Sydney, then it is okay, I wish they actually put a fucking server in Brisbane, because you know, that cunt, that'd be a little bit more better, because trying to stream from Sydney is quite terrible, because that's... It's a shit place anyway, but uh, I mean, if you're, if you're a first time coming to Australia, I suggest going to Sydney for a little bit, see how shit it is, and then go to Brisbane, which is ten times more better, because just a few hours down the road, you got the Gold Coast. Of sandy gold beaches. Beautiful place. Um, so, once you enable one of those, it will just tell you to put in some sign-in information and shit. So, put in all that shit. Then you'll be greeted with a few extra options. I can't really show you it right now because then my recording will fuck up. And I don't want to do this because it's like the fifth time I've tried to make one of these videos. Streaming profile, same as the recording thing. It has custom things, so if I put it on Ultra, it's going to be 1080p, 60 frames per second, with a 6 megabytes bitrate. Basically, do not touch it. Don't even do custom. I, I personally just leave it on this. If you want to archive your stream, so if you're streaming and you wanted to record as well, just hit that button and it will record it once you finish streaming. So you'll have a hard copy saved to your desktop with you being able to edit it. Audio bitrate, same as recording, but it's only limited to 192 since Twitch and YouTube only supports streaming with 192, but I think Twitch only supports 16128. But I think it might also support 192. Please correct me in the comments below. Streaming FPS, same as recording. Everything's basically the same, just a little bit more shorter here and with streaming. Then you have overlay, so when you're streaming, you might want to display your system information. Don't know why the fuck you want to do that, unless if you're doing, like, you know, one of those FPS comparison videos for, um, you know, uh, NVIDIA, or like a GTX 1080 Ti, or something like that. You want to enable that to do it, so those types of videos. Show camera, that's basically my, uh, camera, you know, like one of those Logitech shits that cost a little bit to get 
you can enable that and then once you're recording it'll show you your camera show custom overlay is basically you know those twitch streamers that have that custom overlay with um their name and watermark and all that shit you enable that you upload one you can make one i don't know how to make one because i'm a stupid ass bitch that don't want to make one you enable that and then you upload it and then you just i guess it just fits it to the overlay of whatever you're recording so no one can steal your shit personally if you if someone is stealing your shit just enable that and you know they won't steal your shit but don't steal other other people's overlays because you know then you're stealing that shit which then some people will steal your shit so it kind of get really fucking weird that's the end of the tutorial for AMD Relive for AMD graphics drivers. Here's my shit. Yeah, I know. It's only... Also, my core clock is really low. I wish it was up to about 1,600. You know, that would be a little bit better. But no, I'm actually at 958 hertz. Which is shit. My computer was shit. But, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like and... If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for probably more um, tutorial videos for Mac computers that are running boot camp. Because, yeah, sorry to break to you, but I'm running a Mac on Windows or whatever you like to call it. If you want more tutorials like this one, please leave a like and share with your many fam family and friends. Because, you know, I love the fame. And I want to grow this channel into something beautiful one day. So thank you for watching and peace.